much now. Currently, I am working as a R&D engineer in electronics hardware development. Uh, last year, I got this new electric photon, and uh, that time, this photon was uh, photon has has lead acid battery, DR as a battery, for uh, 48 to 33 years. Uh, after one one year, last year, I have installed. Uh, electrical meter which measures current voltage, current voltage, power and energy consumed by the scooter. So based on these measurements, I have made some changes in my scooter. First, I replaced the battery. Earlier battery was uh, lead acid battery and uh, 48 volt. After Four battery, each battery has 12 volt, 33 H, so total 48 volt, 33 H battery. And the weight was, weight of the battery was 42 kg. So I, I replaced the those heavy battery with a light weighted lithium battery. So now this scooter has a 48 volt, 13 S, 24 kh and 1.5. 1.5 C discharging rate battery and this and the, this lithium battery has a 120 ampere BMS battery management system. So presently uh, this battery weight is around 13.5 kg. So earlier battery weight was 42 kg and now it now battery weight is 13.5. So we can say that the weight reduction due to battery was around 28.5 kg. So now scooter scooter the earlier weight earlier scooter weight was around 110. With this new battery and motor, the total weight reduced uh, total weight is around 90, 88 or 90 kg. So the changes which I have made first battery. Uh, earlier lithium, sorry, earlier lead acid, now lithium battery. Second, motor. Earlier motor was uh, one kilowatt, one kilowatt continuous power, and with uh, 1.5 kilowatt peak power motor. So now this present motor is a 3000 watt continuous power, and maximum power is six kilowatt, and. Uh, uh, with motor controller. Earlier motor controller was uh, uh, 40. Uh, earlier motor controller can give can give one kilowatt continuous power and peak power 1.5 kilowatt peak power. This new motor controller can give 3000 watt continuous power and uh, six kilowatt peak power means uh, instantaneous power. So. Now, current arrangement and is uh, current arrangement with this new lithium battery, with this motor controller, and with this powerful motor. This system can deliver up to six kilowatt instantaneous uh, power. So uh, now I am getting excellent uh, pickup acceleration. So it's pickup acceleration is actually amazing. It can uh, beat any bike, any bike or any two wheeler in city roads. So maximum speed. Earlier photon with lead acid battery and with one thousand one point five kW motor, the peak maximum speed was fifty fifty kilometers per hour. And now its maximum maximum speed is around eighty km. Uh, per hour and uh, range with with older batteries means with lead acid batteries its uh, range was uh, around 30 to 35 kilometer per single charge and now but that battery was 48 volt 33 h battery the maximum uh, energy can be stored in that lead acid battery was 1.5 unit and now this lithium ion battery is 44 h at 48 volt, so it can store uh, 2.16 unit visually unit electricity. 
so currently i am i am getting maximum range 80 km per single charge but i am using uh, 75% dod of batteries so uh, so i so i i am getting 60 km range basically i have full 80 km range in single charge but out of 80 km i am on, i am only using 60 km it means uh, it means 75% of dod of batteries so uh, and why why i am why i am doing this because at 75% dod batteries life cycle will be better than 100% dod it means i can i can drive this scooter with this this lithium battery with 75% dod more, more kilometers so now the scooter is lighter and it's average at pick up and uh, maximum speed is also increased because 20 kg weight factor is significant in in terms of acceleration in terms of mileage and in terms of maximum speed cost the cost of total upgradation was around 1 lakh uh, 1 lakh 20000 i the battery cost is 58000 motor plus motor controller with this brick and these three components cost or cost was 42000 and this cost uh, cost is included uh, is shipping and custom tax are included in 42000 so in 42000 i get i got motor controller and display 42 58000 for battery uh, total 1 lakh and 10000 for any additional components like uh, uh, 25 mm wire 100 ampere mcb and connectors to 250 amperes uh, battery socket so total cost for of cost for of generation is around 1 lakh 20000 and uh, i bought this component uh, i bought this com- component from alibaba and uh, the order quantity was uh, one means so the cost for a single single motor is much higher if we if we purchase these components in bulk so then cost will also reduce so my assumption the final cost uh, with subsidy currently the final cost with subsidy is 1 lakh 10000 and my assumption is uh, for a bulk order the final cost would be around 90000 to 1 lakh so with with so if we if you consider this current for modified photon with 1 lakh 27000 cost it is 60 km uh, 60 km range in a single charge with maximum speed 50 and with amazing amazingly high peak high acceleration pick up so battery life would be around 40 for 40 to 50000 km why i am saying that 40 to 50000 km because in a single charge this 75% dod yeah it drive it goes up to it goes 60 km and for 80% dod the life cycle of lithium battery is 700 so for 75% uh, we will get more life cycle let's say for 80% if we get 700 life cycle 75% DOD we will get uh, 800 uh, let's say 800 life cycle so 800 life cycle with 60 km per charge means 800 into 60 it will be around 48000 km uh, so the battery life is around 48000 km and uh, if you have any question you can mail me if you want to upgrade your electric uh, two wheeler uh, If you want to upgrade motor controller or any electrical part, you can mail me, and I uh, I will definitely help you. And thanks for guys watching this video. With modification, now this scooter has two new features. Uh, one is regenerative braking, and second is reverse. So I 
Yeah, so this scooter has two horn switch. One at left side and another at right side. So I changed the wiring of right horn switch and now this horn switch acts as a reverse reverse switch. So when we push this switch this reverse switch so this reverse switch signal goes to controller and when we push this switch uh, and push this switch and then it goes to reverse. So for forward motion, this the switch. Regenerative braking. Regenerative braking. Uh, this switch, this left side brake lever, uh, brake lever has a micro switch, and this micro switch is connected to motor controller. So basically, for regenerative braking, motor will, when we apply the brake, motor will act as a generator, and current goes to battery, and battery will be charged and the brake will apply. So this is the regenerative feature.